John Rawlings here now with plenty of action. The high school hardwood. Yeah, five different games from six local teams, plus an appearance from an LCC star on the college courts. See if Ottawa Glendorf and Elida can keep their perfect records intact right after this quick timeout. After a loss in the championship game of the QP Classic against Huber Heights Wayne, Lima Senior is ready to bounce back, but will have to do so against undefeated Toledo St. John's, the defending conference champions. The Spartans making the trip up to Toledo. First quarter, Jaleel King dishing to Amir Curtis. He strokes the three from the left side. Spartans trailing early on, though. Then it's Yatziel Cologne flexing his muscles. The senior with a great move inside for the bucket. Spartans attacking the paint again. The shot is blocked, but Jermaine Daniels there to follow it up. But St. John's was all over the Spartans tonight. Senior falls 68 to 44. The BBC meets the WBL at the Elida Fieldhouse. The Bulldogs sitting with a perfect 6-0 record. First quarter, Elida came ready to play. Daniel Unruh with the hoop and the harm for the first bucket of the game. The senior then showing he can pull from long range as well. Unruh scores the first seven points for the Bulldogs, ending his night with 16. And Elida wasn't done. Dante Johnson gets the end one opportunity. And now it's Skylar Smith getting in on the fun. Elida opens this one on a 12-0 run. Van Buren looking for answers and it's Matthew Ayers dropping the high arcing three, but the Bulldogs came ready to work tonight. The initial shot is off and Unruh shows some hustle as he gets the board and the basket. Elida wins 55-39. to Another undefeated team in the WBL is Ottawa Glandorf. They host Bowling Green. Santa making a present, making himself present. First quarter, Jake Dybel. He's good down low. OG leads early 13-3. Moments later, it's Jake Kaufman making his return from his second ACL injury. And the big man looks good running the floor and getting the and one. And how about some defense from Kaufman as well? The senior with a big block. The Titans played strong tonight. Dival scores a team high 17 points and grabs 11 rebounds too. OG wins 67 to 39. Shawnee and Perry both ride two game winning streaks into tonight's matchup. First quarter, Sheridan O'Neal shakes off his defender, then throwing in a little Euro step. Shawnee up early for nothing, but here comes Perry. Jamal Whiteside feeding Logan Dre for the three ball. Commodore still on the attack now. Martel White going up for it, padding the stats with the board and the bucket. Perry on top now 5-4. to four. It's a barn burner tonight and the Indians come out on top. Justin Banky all alone. Shawnee wins 62-58. to 58. Girls action. Wapkineta making the trip to Lima to face LCC. Start of the third quarter. Wapak going outside in. Mackenzie Wilson taking care of business. Redskins out to a big 42-10 to 10 lead. Their perimeter game was working too. Lexi Jacobs stroking one down for the triple try. Wapak ahead by 35. LCC still battling. Jessica Wilker with a great cut to the hoop but this one was all Wapak. Audra Shaw using the most underrated move in basketball to perfection. The jump stop works. Wapak wins 61 to 18. College basketball LCC star Dantez Walton hitting the floor against eighth ranked Texas A&M. He finishes the night with three points and six rebounds. Two of them right here. NKU almost pulls off the upset, but ultimately falls 64 to 58. The Ohio State University rides a four game winning streak against the Citadel. First half, Kata Bates Diop with the smooth J. 17 for him tonight, but the Buckeye with the most attention was Jay Sean Tate. Long pass to the senior and he goes head and slams one home. He is a perfect four of four from the floor, but here's the dunk everyone is talking about. Tate going baseline and look out below, taking out some aggression on the rim. Buckeyes cruise 94 to 65. In the NBA, the Cavs go for 19 wins in their last 20 games against the Bucks. Late in the fourth, Dwayne Wade gets it on the outside and drills the triple. That gives the Cavs a 107 to 105 lead. His teammates love it. Just over 10 seconds to play now. LeBron trying to cut off a pass, but he turns it over and Giannis Antetokounmpo Kumpo seals the deal. The Bucks go on to win 119 to 116. When we come back, we take a stop in Bluffton. The Pirates have been searching for some buried treasure, and they believe they have found the map this year in order to find it. See what they are looking for right after this quick timeout. Welcome back. A pirate is always hunting for treasure, and for the girls' basketball team in Bluffton, the gold they are after has evaded them for the past 13 years. I caught up with the pirates, who believe they have found the map that will bring them to an NWC championship. We all want it really bad. <laughs> That's basically on our minds about every practice, every game. We're just like, it's the next step. We're taking the next step to become NWC champs, and we just want to push and get better at each practice, each game. Bluffton was one game away from winning the NWC a year ago, but the Pirates came up short against the two-time defending NWC champs of Columbus Grove. Grove's still the team to beat. I mean, I know they lost Paige, but 
there's there's still good and there's about four or five other teams that are really at the top of the conference too. A big advantage for Bluffton this season, the Pirates only graduate one starter. It was a loss to lose Abby, but then again, it's nice that we don't really lose a whole lot of other people. We know how each other plays a lot and then we just have to help the other girls get used to it. The returning talent features four juniors who have been logging quality minutes since they were freshmen. A key to their chemistry on the court. Pretty big advantage. I mean, most teams wouldn't start these many younger kids, but I mean, it works for us, so it's a good thing for us. We played with each other since fourth grade, so we just know, like, okay, we know what each other like to do and about everything else. Despite their early losses to Ottaville and Arlington, these familiar teammates are 2 0 in conference play and look to stay perfect this season to bring home the elusive conference crown. It'd be amazing for us to have it one more time, or at least two more times, since there is no senior. So it'd be kind of fun for us to have it with all these younger girls. So it'd be great. We want it pretty bad. I mean, but again, everybody wants it bad, but we know we got to work to get to that. And I just keep pushing them and pushing them that we got to do, we got to outwork everybody else if we want to win. College football news, tight end A.J. Alexander heard the unfortunate news that his playing career at Ohio State is over. The sophomore hurt his knee this summer and had to have surgery that will end his football career. However, the Buckeyes have awarded him with a medical scholarship. And tonight, the NFL announced their Pro Bowl selections. A pair of Bengals are selected in A.J. Green and Geno Atkins. Atkins, the lone starter, selected an easy choice as he leads all defensive tackles in sacks this season with nine. A.J. grabbing the honors for the seventh straight season. The Lions will be sending Darius Slay to Orlando his first Pro Bowl appearance in his five seasons played, and no one from the Browns receiving the nod kind of expected when you get to win a game this season. Ouch. <laughs> Thanks, John. We'll be back with Stocks.